I was asking about uh, somebody who divorced his wife before a lawyer one year ago, and now he wants her back. He divorced her once. I believe I asked him how many times did he divorce her. He said once. The reason I asked because there is a difference between the first, second divorce and the third divorce. The first and the second is known as raj'i or revocable or reversible where the husband would still maintain the right of revoking his divorce and maintaining the marriage relationship without his wife's or divorcee consent within the idda period of time which is thalasata quru whether it is three periods or three months according to what we explained before in different circumstances. But the, after the third divorce, then even if they both want to uh, resume their marriage life, it will be impermissible. It will not be permissible because that's called irreversible divorce or الطلاقُ الْبَاءِ فَلَا تَحِلُّ لَهُ مِنْ بَعْدُ حَتَّى تَنْكِحَ زَوْجًا غَيْرَ After the third divorce, it will not be permissible for uh, them to remarry even with a new marriage contract, not unless if she marries somebody else and they consummate their marriage, then and all of that has to be not pre-planned. Regular marriage and consummation of the marriage, and then if she was divorced, and after the idda, the former husband, if he wanted to uh, marry her and there is an agreement, they will initiate a new marriage contract and so on. So now, he divorced her once, and it's been already a year. It's not within the idda period. Then if they both agree to the desire of remarrying, that will require to initiating a new marriage contract with the dowry, witnesses, and the agreement of the wali or the guardian. فَلَا تَعْضُلُهُنَّ أَنْ يَنْكِحْنَ أَزْوَاجَهُنَّ The guardian still have a say whether to agree or not to agree. And we remember that Prophet ﷺ said, لَا نِكَاحَ إِلَّا بِوَلِيٍ وَشَاهِدَيْ عَدْلٍ there is no valid marriage without the consent of the wali for the girl or the bride and two just male Muslim witnesses. Here is a question, why did we require a new marriage contract in this entire story if the couple who were married a year ago, now they want to remarry again after divorce? Because that is known as ba'in but baynunatun sura. The word ba'in means irreversible, which means final, whether after three divorces or after one or the second divorce, but the idda is over. But in the case of the later one that's called Bainuna Sura, a lesser Bainuna, which will enable the couple, if they want to marry again, they can simply marry with a new marriage contract and the process as we said. But in the case of Al Bainuna Tul Kubra, the major Bainuna, it will require that the wife has to marry somebody else in a complete marriage process, not pre-planned for this purpose, but with the intention of getting married. And not with the intention of divorcing her so that he will be permissible for somebody else, because the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam cursed all the parties who would be involved in this plan. And he would be considered muhallil, just marrying a woman in order to make her lawful for her, ex-husband and that's not uh, permissible even if they do so. So the short answer to your question, you will be required to establish a new marriage contract with the agreement of the wali, with an agreed upon dowry and with the proper shuhud. Wallahu ta'ala a'la alam. And in this case you resume the right of three of two divorces from uh, the scratch.